And good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Time Warner Cable News on this Wednesday, September 3rd. Your top story is coming up. When it comes to technology, the smaller the better. Scientists at Quantum Materials are working on a new tech that has a lot of applications from solar energy and beyond. Our Jess Mitchell is getting to see it firsthand this morning, and we're all getting a science lesson, right? We are getting a science lesson. I feel like I'm holding the future in my hands right now. This is quantum dots in here. Indeed. When you say quantum dots, you think they're going to be like these little dots, and eventually they'd be like kind of like little chips. But this is a liquid. So explain this a little bit. This is an active material. This is actually a green emitting quantum dot. You can make them in blue emitting, green emitting, red emitting, and you might recognize those RGB color uh -huh. codes. So they can be used in displays to make a, a very nice, tightly defined color. All right, so this is currently what you're working on at Quantum Materials here in San Marcos. Where, where's the future? Where are we going with this? Okay, so for right now, we have an R&D system which can make small production runs on the order of about a couple hundred uh, kilograms per year annual production. When you go from the lab to scale, of course, you need to be able to produce quite a bit more. So we have plans here at this facility to move from hundreds of kilograms per year to thousands of kilograms per year. So I'll give you an idea of what that means. So thousands of kilograms of quantum dots, when in a device level, could produce hundreds of megawatts of solar panels. Wow. For displays and lighting applications, we're talking about tens of millions of units. That's a very good impact for the, the application of quantum dots as we move into the market. I'll give you a couple examples. Sony actually has already had a quantum dot TV. Okay. Um, Kindle is supposedly in there. Yeah. Kindle Fire you were saying that. says that it has quantum dots, but what that does is give you higher performance for less material. Okay, well that's a lot of math and a lot of science today for us, but I thank you for sharing that with us. We got a, a little bit of a science lesson, which is a break from the norm of what we normally do, right, Tom? Right, and I do want one of those televisions, I must say, so I do know about that, but I didn't know the name of it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, thanks guys. Since 2013, Texas State University students have worked alongside the scientists at Quantum Materials. They're helping them with advanced research.